Well, I'm Ranger Geeky, and I come out here to Hobo just to check on it, make sure this asshole didn't come back. He didn't come back. He did some bad stuff. He took the tarps off in there that we try to keep in case the roof leaks. He got another tarp in there to protect it. It got all wet. I had to dry a lot of stuff. Um, but but I'm having fun out here. So I put a new roof. Well, another roof. So this give extra shade for the, the hobo. And I put this one up. So we can start cooking on our new stove we have out here. And I move all that debris, me and Mike. Put it over here. I'm just reminding y'all. And uh, we made that stove. I got it. A pipe back here for airflow. It's pretty cool. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's um <coughs> 70 degrees. It's comfortable, but humidity is really high. It's at 94, 97. And I got another tarp right here. Remember, these are not waterproof. I didn't use the right oil. You're supposed to use land seed or something, some type of oil called land seed. Or oil seed, or lamb seed, or hemp seed. You know what I'm talking about. Let's look it up. So, I want let you know the video called You Win is almost dates due. I'm going to let y'all know on your envelopes. I have wrote only on one person's envelope, You Won. Now, as long as I know, that person still has his envelope. I hope so. He say he checked, but he didn't see the marking. So I'm giving y'all all one more chance to find that mark. On the back of the envelope. Turn your envelope on the back, and you'll see maybe some small scratching. Somewhere is on the back of your envelope. So look there. Find it says you win, because uh, within this when this video gets up, you have one week to win that prize. And remember, the prize was this little baby right here. It's a used little bush knife, but still a good knife. I'm ready to start using to carve. So, if you want to claim your prize, you have one week to do so. Because the game has to end sometime. Like I said, you have to listen to my videos. Because I do give hidden prizes out to my viewers. This That video was called, uh, Giving Out G Bush Mirrors to My Subscribers. Whoever asked for one, got one. So I sent out to about 15 Bush Mirrors. It was a little mirror. You see it in one of my videos below. Uh... It was like two of them. Let's get these mirrors out. And I forgot the other name. Names and places all bad. So, you have one week to reply to this win. I know the winner still has the envelope. He said so. So, knowing you as a he, you know you should be looking for that little you won symbol on your envelope. Now, I'm giving you a chance. I'm telling you where to look at it. It's in the back of the envelope. Now, if you want, y'all can all send your envelopes back to me, and I'll do the test for you. But you have to send me that envelope so I can mail this back to, to you with the same envelope. All right. All right. The envelope should be easy. Just put it in a little envelope. Mail it for 35 cents. Whoopee. If you want to still play this game, as long as you didn't throw the envelope away, the game is still on. Look at my retreat. There's an animal down there. He eats my turds. Oh my god. He made it. He made a home down there. Oh yeah, this is the best motel ever. Oh god. Why should he eat my turds? Especially when, when I have corn. <laughs> Making me sick just thinking about it. Just thinking about eating a turd. Oh yeah, this is delicious. Whoever dropped these is freaking, freaking, freaking from heaven. And I'm going to curse. Past video, I have made a case word. I'm, I'm not going to apologize for that. Because I was pissed. I used a little curse on my channel. I think that's like the first 
F word I ever said because I was pissed. And I'm not going to apologize because that son of a bitch deserves that word. Um, I, I, I don't know what else uh, he took here. It was mostly junk. Like old blankets that you find at flea markets. Uh, stuff my dad was throwing away. Um, they had some good stuff here, but he didn't want it. I guess he was looking for something quick to sell. So, I guess he didn't find it. Why don't we put this down? And let's take a trip. Let's go a trip. This is Hobo. Meet Hobo. Improve Hobo with new tarp. And cabin V's. So while I'm here doing winter, I don't have to cook inside. I can come outside, enjoy the weather. If it's not too cold, enjoy the weather and cook a meal. I can come here to work on this place and cook a meal. I don't have to go all the way to camp. So let's go camp real quick. The reason why I have two camps because one's for winter and one's for summer. Or not too hot because it does get hot out here. Uh, I did a little overnighter you know, the other week. I, I, I noticed I don't record my overnighters. I caught one that was at the Ashley Park. And uh, I enjoyed myself. I met Donnie again. And uh, me and him went some frogging. And I enjoyed myself. So, no further ado, let's watch the trail. You didn't need to see that either. Now, hey, Tammy. Tammy from uh, Tom, Tom's wife. Mm, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Anytime you want to come down to Louisiana. This is my treasure trove, just for you. I'm not going to dig in here no more. I, I will get the wood, because I need the wood. I should start covering all this good wood. And I can make stuff out here. You know, me and Andrew thought about building, you know, cleaning this out and getting that fire pit right there. See, that fire, that's a fire pit. Barely see it. See, see if you can see it there. How about if you go up? Would you see if you went up? <laughs> there we go. It's right there. See it? Alright. Let's see if y'all can see overhead and see what y'all see over there. Y'all see any good? Let me know, okay? Let's bring it down so you can see better. Just in case. Too far. Let's bring you up a little bit. There we go. Can y'all see anything? All right. If y'all see anything good in there, let me know. I'll go get it. As long as it's not too heavy, I'll mail this other bitch. I want to show you some stuff that is about this house. This house is back in the probably in the. Uh, 1959 or 58 when this house was built. Let's find out why or how. Well, the electrics. The electric wires we have here. There's a, uh, a skeleton key. There's a, um, a cast iron pipe. And for plumbing, you know how the Romans used the plumbing? They had those uh, long tubes about five feet. Or shorter, I think, and they put another pipe in it, male, female, male, female, and that was the plumbing. They didn't have PCP pipe at this time. Um, let's see some other indication of this place is so old. Back in the 50s, I mean 1950s or so, I'm, I do believe this house was built because they, they had academies. They didn't have that many academies. And the wood, there's no insulation in this building. The windows have uh, iron weights the way the the the, the, the the windows um they did have an ice box so but it's pretty old that's a gas pipe uh gas they had gas too out here so let's go on let's visit our 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 uh camp all right watch your head because the trails are more pure, beautiful than me <laughs> Look how the sun rays are coming in. Yeah, I walked right here in this area 
it was getting evening, it was around 6 o'clock. The only thing I saw about five asses of deer running that way. That's all I saw, an, a, 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 about five deer run that way. And the only thing I saw was their white little asses in the back. Mm -mm, that's right, I said ass. <laughs> No, I'm not into Furby sex. Well, if I dress like a Furby, yeah. Let's take a look at this. Look at how pretty these woods are. Ah, memory lane. I'm just taking y'all back through the same trails that I usually take. I'll bring you to memory lane and show you what it looks like and show you what face looks like and what happened with that asshole this video is gonna be a little longer than normal but i might cut it and let's go here i put i change this system every time to let people know hey somebody's been back here it's been moved they've been changed if you believe it a code the camper's code the fisher's code and the hunter's code the hunter's code i said this before most of y'all are going to hear the same thing. You know, I'm just saying this for my new subscribers in case they didn't go back some to see the old videos. The hunter's code. You go out and find a hunter's camp, you leave it alone. You don't, you might, you can go buy it, but don't go in it. That's his camp. His hunting camp. His deer stand. Don't go into somebody else's deer stand. Fishing's, fisherman's code. You find a fishing hut, like this one is. I got four fishing poles. He tried to take one of these but I guess he left it he took two of my game game cams he took one of my lights that were up there he uh, took a bucket he left a pe piece of paper um that's about it here he took oh uh, some rope he took a bow a machete a saw and two pots that bastard but that's right I got him on cam I got him on cam I can't wait for the fricker to come back to look home He's supposed to be out of town moved out or something then he comes back and we'll have the cops phone come with me to arrest his fucking freaking ass and back to the fishing code when you find somebody's fishing pole, fishing tackle, oh, and he took some fishing tackle. Uh, all, almost all the good stuff for hunting, fishing, camping. He took that. Son of a bitch. And a come along. I forgot. And a come along. I had a come along for taking out trees. So. Um, when you find a camp like this, you don't take their stuff. You leave it. And you find out if it's been abandoned. After you find out it's been abandoned, then you are allowed, or you should be able to take what you want. But I don't abandon my stuff. I change this system every time I come here. I might put a bucket here. I might change the court. The, the milk crate. I'll change that system to let you, or whoever, know that this place is still occupied. I changed my surroundings in this whole place. I took the tarp off. I, I moved that. So you know somebody's here. Hey, somebody's been here. So I should not take stuff. Unless I find out who it is. Or vice versa. See if you know the guy. Alright, I'm going to make this one more 13 minute video of the bayou. So come on along and I'll show you my drop lines and what I do out here when I'm camping. It's never boring out here, trust me, I got plenty of stuff to do here. Alright, let's go to the bayou. This is Bayou Lacombe. It's been here for a long time. You notice like, looks like alligators go through this, but there was no alligator signs. Oh, look at this. Looks like some type of turtle. Yes, look, a turtle. Or nope, it's a creature. Sorry, it's shells. I guess something came over here to eat because you see the layabouts. Huh. I got me some bamboo if I ever need to build something. I got some bamboo. 
and over here I got drop lines all over this area but this is the, this is one of the areas I find a snake in so I usually take caution around this area once I find one snake I usually take caution all the time because he usually they're the same all the time all right he's not there and when you go in these sweet swampy areas you always want to check your feedy see here's one of my uh, this is gonna be my fishing pier one of my fishing piers if you want to clean a, a, a fish while dirtying your campsite this is where you want to go I have two milk crates so I can clean my fish here you know breathe some water look there's a monster in the water what is that it looks like a beaver first wildlife thing and I'll lose it I see some fish whenever he's gonna pop up next and this is my little fishing pier there's an old uh, cement table with two blocks they used to lay on <sighs> smell that water and old dock it's right here see old dock and uh, pier used to be here and I drop drop lines all through this area There's one of my drop lines. I just drop a line, put some bait on it. I got a little cane pole with cork and I hang it way out in the tree. I think it's on that one. And I got a drop line here. I have to refurbish. There's these frogs always on the ground and they scare the hell out of me. I think it's a snake, but I know better. Look how pretty this is. And when it floods, I mean when it rains, that floods a little bit. And then when it does rain a lot, this area floods. You can't get down here when a heavy rain. And here's another drop line that needs to be refurbished. And I put a little flagging on it so I remember where it's at. You see the little frogs jumping around? Little bastards. And this is the end of my trail. And I got a couple of drop lines here. And a drop, a cup, like a drop line here. Like I said, I had to refurnish all my drop lines and put hooks and weights on them. Clear out the areas. I tried to do that when I was cold the other day. So let's go through the rest of the trail real quick. I'm gonna give you a 30 minute video. Sorry about that. No, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I hate making long videos. And I hate making short videos. So, I try to make my videos like the 13 minutes on this damn thing because it's easy to operate. You know, cut and slice. And I can also cut and slice, but hey, why cut and slice this video when you're watching beautiful nature? Look at that. You want me to cut out any of this? I don't think so. Look at that. This is my hiking chatting video. So one of my hiking video chat videos are pretty long. I want you to enjoy the woods out like I enjoy them. I try not to cut trees I don't need to cut. I try to preserve and, and cut what I need. And I go away from my camp, far away from my camp to get the branches, I mean the trees I need. So that's a task, going through the woods with the long boards I need. Here's another fishing point. I got a long cane pole, I stick it in this tree and I got a drop line here. So I do a little both here. Drop line and long cane pole. Look at that, how beautiful that bayou is. Well, I'm taking my old and my new subscribers through my old, my uh, Bayou Trail, I call it. So I hope you enjoy it. Look how the sun going through. It's a beautiful morning.
I might as well just take you all the way around, show you the beautiful camping site I have here. You got plenty of things to do. You're never bored here, I'm telling you. And I'm ready to get a boat. And when I get a boat out here, guess what? I'm going to have drop lines everywhere. See, there's an old house right there. I remember when I was a kid, I used to see that old house on the bayou when we used to take the bayou. Let's see if we can take a look at that. Look how pretty is that. And I'm ready to come to a danger zone. I do try to memorize my danger zones. Without a memory, you will lose track and you will go into a dangerous situation. In this area, I usually find a copperhead. I do have a copperhead out here. I did not kill him. He's still alive somewhere. He could have moved, but usually snakes are, you know, they like to stay in one spot all the time, I guess. And I try to clean out this little area so. They usually run my they see me coming. But I will not kill a snake unless, unless it bit me. And I hope that never happens. I built this bridge many, many times here. Somehow the water washes it away. So I might make another trail upstream. But I have to cross this little ditch. Like so. And take a look at that body. And once I get a, a canoe, I'm thinking about buying that canoe at uh, the, the fleet um, flea market. At the pawn shop for like 150 bucks. I should have got it. They said it had a hole in it, so I didn't buy it. Plus, I didn't have transportation to get it back home. I need a truck. All right, what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to the point. Then we'll come back out. Show you the point. It's a good fishing point and a good camping area, but not during the rainy season. I would love to camp in this area. Look how pretty it is. But it's a flood zone. What happens if it rains up there? You don't see the rain, okay? You don't see it, but... A flood zone is very, very dangerous to, to camp in. This is a flood zone. I will not camp here whatsoever. How can I tell this is a flood zone? One, I know because I've seen water here. Two, the leaves are all brown. And you see water marks. And certain trees can live here. So that's a, a bunch of content. Uh, tails, tails, listen to me. Now I didn't clean it out this trail on the way here. I should have done it, but I say I'm not going to the point, but now I'm going to the point. I got some drop lines out here too. That's why I call the Bayou Trail. Got one here. I hope there's no gator out here because that's <laughs> that's a slew there. I don't see no activity, but you never know. Oh light bulb. Yep, you have to watch for snakes. That rat snake was way up in the tree the other day. I deleted that video because you couldn't really see the snake, but me and Mike witnessed that snake going up in the tree. See, here's another little spot. I do clean out little uh, fishing areas. All right, where's my trail? <laughs> I think I went over these logs. Yeah, there it is. Now, this only goes to a point. It has a good camping area, but I would not camp here. Look at all these leaves. It's been washed away. You see hardly any leaves in this area. That means it's been washed away. That means it's a flood zone. Plus, I've seen it. I know for a fact it's a flood zone. All right, time for the old cane knife. Do some cleaning. It's been a year since I've been out here. Ow! Bitch! Uh, 
Might have to go the other way. <laughs> All right. I'll clean it better. There should be another trail leading out this bitch. There we go. Look at the bayou again. Look how pretty it is. Now never. You never don't want to camp in a flood zone. Look. See tie uh, tails of a flood zone. See that little pocket of leaves there? It means it floods and it comes this way because it's all facing that way. So you don't want to camp in here. Not period. Oh yeah, we're going to camp here one night. Yeah, right. One night of hell. That's what it will be. Because if it, That's why it's called flash floods. Warning, flash floods. Because if it rains upstream and you don't see that rain... In one hour or less, all that water coming down for all them creeks, all those channels will flood you out. So never, never camp in a flood zone. You see, look, look at the signs. I will never camp here. Beautiful, I'll tell you that. It's beautiful, but I won't do it. All right, this is Lou. Plus, look at this, it's, it's wet. It used to go over there, but it's kind of wet today. So I'm not going that way. I want you to take a look at all the pretty trees we got here today. Look at a squirrel nest, or vulture nest. I got vultures. They're gonna eat my eyes out. Get them away, mama. <laughs> All right. Don't hurt me, mama. Look, there's a little creek over there. See, I couldn't make a trail in the bank. See, there's a drop line. I never caught nothing here, but I'm always still in my bait. Look at that pretty spider. Can you see that? That's a crab spider. A little bitty crab spider. And he has this little web. Or her. Most of these females, almost all spiders are hers. And the, 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 the male is the smaller one. And this is a little crab spider. And I got another drop line here. Like I said, I can clean this out and I can fish here. Get a saw, cut all the limbs, but I almost I don't want to destroy her nest. Nest. It's a, not a nest, it's a web. Don't be a re re. Look, artifacts. Yeah, trash wash up many miles. See, there's another indicator that the water gets high. Trash. This is also an indicator that it floods up here. You don't want to camp here. Trust me. Look. See the leaves? So always watch for those telltale signs of floods. Where it floods at. See, there's another bottle. That's not supposed to be there. That means it floods up here. You don't want to be here. Trust me. You don't. It's too far inland to, to be this normal trash. Yeah, I should have cut this place ago when it was nice. And I have to worry about doing this and save some time on the camera. But you are coming with me on my adventure. So you got to watch. Not the same path, I tell you that. 
used to go over there. Uh. All right. Ow, 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 ow. Damn you, boy. Might make another path that way. All right. Back on the, the clean trail. Don't you enjoy those pretty sun rays coming through the trees? I know some of y'all like to see my expression, but today you're going to see the expression of Mother Nature and it's all of its glory. That by you, man. Can't beat that. I can't wait to get a canoe. Look at that. I wanted to cut this long time ago, but I wanted to let it grow because it goes way up there. But look at that. Imagine taking that down and selling that. That's almost a hundred dollar little vine there. I could take that to the Renaissance and sell it to the Renaissance people. They buy a, uh, those twisted trees. About a hundred, but he has to make a profit, so I have to tell him, Here's 150. So he make, I'd say, Okay, I bring it down to a hundred, and you can sell it for 150. It's weird what they sell these days, and people buy it. All right, we're getting out this trail, this big old tree. That was a beautiful one. But I guess uh, the hurricane tore her down. And I wanted to show you that big monster out there in Palm Blue State Park. But it was wet. I couldn't get to it. Maybe I can get to it now since it should be all dried up like this. I hope y'all didn't get lost. I hope y'all know where y'all at. That's another thing. Uh, the last video y'all saw was about Mike getting lost in the woods. Your sense of direction is also important to you. Memory and common sense is very important to you. That's almost like the five, five letters of uh, bushcrafting or survivaling. Memory is one. Remember that. Always remember your direction. Your sense of direction, where is everything? Right now, if I walk that way, I'll be at my camp. I can walk back through the trail too. I might clear that out. Because believe it or not, after these trees grow high, it kills all the little vegetation down here. See all that? Once those trees get high, it kills all that and it'll be open like this. So I might clean out something to get to that bayou so I can put another drop line. Because while a lot of drop lines, most of y'all call it bank lines, I call it drop lines. Or maybe it's the trout line y'all talking about. I call it trout, a catfish line or a trout line. It means almost the same thing different terminology here in Louisiana. Us Louisiana folks, we call it different things. <laughs> so I just made a new trail. Last time I was out here, it was beautiful like it is. I made a trail to that little opening there. So come on with me. Look at this. That you know what that is? That's a hundred piece, man. Oh man, I need a fix, man. I need my fix. I need some fat wood. All right, I had a spider here. Where is she? Was it? All right, there she is. This is a different type of spider. I don't know the name of her.
and try not to breathe on her because she will move. She's a beetle. So I'm going to try to clean out this whole area, cut the, the, the branches out so I can cast my line here a couple times. And last time I was out here, I smelled smoke. I thought it was another camper out here. Never know out here. This is Camping City. There's a lot of people camp on the bayou. And I... All right. Damn. Now, a while back, I was telling Andrew we should make a new camp. And I looked all over and I found this baby here. This is a, be a beautiful camping area. But it's not, it's near water, but kind of far. But right here, been the perfect spot. Why? See that great oak right there? That white oak? I'm sorry, that's a live oak. Live oaks hate water. So the Indians used to make camp underneath these live oaks because they hate water. And this would be a beautiful big place to make camp. And any of you bushcrafters or survivalists want to come down to Louisiana to camp at Cookie's Camp House, please do so. Please let me know. I'll get this place ready. And when you get here, we do whatever you want. I mean, we can even make another campsite. This is one of them. So this is also a, a big shout out to all my YouTubers and people who's in Louisiana, Mississippi, um, and whatever that other, yeah, the other places over here is. Come on by the Cookies Camp House. I'd be happy to invite you. Just let me know you're coming down to Louisiana. We got a big meeting uh, in Mississippi in October the 16th, 17th and 18th. I hope y'all all will join us. So, uh, that's a reminder of that. If this video is up by then. <laughs> Alright, let's watch, watch the woods. Turn around. Turn, turn. That's right. Don't look at me. Watch the woods. Go. Go. I want you to look at the pretty rays. Just enjoy the woods. While I sing a tune. Ha 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 Yep, uh, I remember the day I found the, the bamboo camp. I set markers when it was on the bayou. I looked at the trees above in the air. I said, yep, okay. So when I was looking through the, for the bamboo off the bayou, I uh, looked at the trees. They're up here. And I'm like, yep, that's it. Bamboo is nearby. And I walked. I'm like, yeah, I remember this. This was a big ditch. There's bamboo. So I found bamboo. The bamboo uh, camp that we're supposed to make a new campsite at. I'll show you where we's going to put it. So me and Andrew decided to make a fishing camp here. He says, Let's, he walked over here, it's pretty high. He says, yeah, this would be a cool spot. Make a bamboo hut out of these trees here. This one, that one, here. And make this little circle here a fishing camp. And have a few other items here. But a little fishing camp made out of bamboo and a couple tarps. And let me show you bamboo. It's 
right down here we got a little secret trail so if anybody comes to bamboo they won't find our kit. we made like a little hidden trail I thought that was a snake <laughs> and this is bamboo and this one to buy you look home they're pretty I see a couple of gar out there in the morning Oh, it was beautiful out here during the morning. You see fish, gar, gar fish, bass, perch. And this fills up during winter when it raining season. We uh, throw our little crawfish traps in there. We see if we can catch crawfish. We're made out of those jugs. We keep a couple. I think it's too strong up. We usually keep it right here. Here it is. We keep a couple uh, crawfish traps in here. And during the wet season, we put them in the water over there and see if we can catch some crawfish, the fish. And we're supposed to continue the bayou trail through here, but I'm waiting for winter because it's too hot right now. Oh, boy. It's like 100 degrees. Well, 99, but still. Take a look at that bayou. And this big bamboo bush. So we're going to make a, a bamboo uh, uh, a little camp over here out of bamboo and I forgot to clear out this trail but I got a little fishing trail goes about 20 feet that way and I got some drop lines there so there we go here's bamboo let's take a look from a distance skiers are really bad during the wet season because they love to get in that little ditch right there. Well, I hope you enjoy that little trip to the bamboo camp that we never finished building. So, we're not finished yet. We still got to go back and go to another trail. And it's a hidden trail. It goes around to another little swampy area that we throw our crawfish traps in. We don't have any, but I got some made to go there. And it's a little closer to camp, so we don't have to come way out here to get crawfish. This is the update of the bamboo trail. I hope you enjoy it. I love taking a hike out here. I know y'all like to come with me. And here it is. I'm showing you my the, bam, the bayou trail. And pretty soon I'm gonna make it all the way around the bayou, around a curve. So I can have more drop lines. I might get a boat. So I can use a boat to come out here to fish. You know, chain it up against the tree somewhere, or bring it with me and bring it home. And here's the hidden trail. And this goes to another little swampy area down here. This floods. All this is flood. I'll be walking in water right now during the wet season. I just want to say, uh, uh, reach 200 subscribers. Well, this video could be put up later on. I don't know what time this dang video is going to be put up. But I want you to just walk through the trail with me. Enjoy the woods. It's a nice little hike. I don't know how far. I measured it with my watch one time and I forgot how many miles it is. But it's a nice little hike. When you're out here, you're, you're camping and you just want to go out and catch some fish or try to catch some fish. So I'll go to the bayou trail and put my lines out. 
you know, bait them all up with some bait, corn, uh, little crawfish, whatever I bring out for bait, the shrimp. You know, if it gets your shrimp. What did I use last time when I caught me a garfish? I think it was shrimp. Put some shrimp on a on a uh, on a hook, and I caught me a garfish. And I got a little trail here. During the summer, this trail is usually dry, and and when it's wet, I just jump across and go this way. show you the other little spot that we I'm ready to put some more crawfish traps out during the season and see if I can catch some crawfish right down there there's a little pond a little ditch skeeters And this little video, this little part's for Tammy. Well, Tammy, you ever come out this way like again? This is the other abandoned house. Well, destroyed house. It's out here. You can probably find all kinds of treasures. Plus some snakes during the season. We killed like three snakes out there, me and Andrew already. So I call this a dangerous zone during the seasons. Cause there's always a snake sudden baiting out here. So I have to take a look before I walk in this location. I guess the rats love this area because they crawl underneath and I you know, killed a snake right there. The reason why we kill snakes here because we walk in this area. We try to shoot them away, but they come back. So we have to eliminate it. And Andrew did all the killing anyway. But we got all kinds of stuff here. We got some sinks. A zinc. I took some stuff out that thing right there, put it in my fire pit. And this is about the other little, the little house that is out here. And here's our latrine for. Uh, base camp we got like a little shovel some dirt and we just do our business <laughs> I didn't want you to see it turn but I didn't go over here for a while so there was nothing besides something eats it oh god it's making me gag yeah, but this goes a big big circle goes back to our camp and there's the ditch I showed you earlier. We usually just take this when it's dry. And it goes that way, and it goes that way. And that goes to a road. Then we come back to base. Before you leave, uh, before you leave, let's take a look at what I've been doing. I've been taking. Uh, I, I wish I never. I wish I had. I knew about this. I put the tarps on there. Okay, so I had a rat living in there. I took. I took all the t big tarps out and left it open. And I should take this off too. Because uh, I had rats in here. But uh, I took all that out so the rats can't live in it anymore. No they don't like that tarp, it stinks. And here's my camp. I got all this stuff to burn. I was doing the tests and, and leaving it out here for a long period of time is a big no no. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. It's 12 minutes. I think it's been more than 12 minutes. And here's all my little fire pit. All my firewood. And it was a new subscriber who said, what a shithole. And he was talking about my summer camp. Wait till he sees this video. I wonder what he's gonna call it. <laughs> Hi. And remember I have a... Uh, I have, don't forget, I have running water out here. A little egg water, but it's plowable. But this comes from my, um, my hobo. Get them skeeters out of there. Damn skeeters. Put that there. There you go. So I've been cleaning up my camp. I'm uh, doing this season. I'm going to clean all this. Uh, the, some, when the guy came over here, he threw all this shit on the ground. A saw, machete, and all kinds of stuff. I'm going to make a big video about that. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. And I will see you next time. Bye -bye.